What is up y'all? Jay here from Heating with Jay and I'm going to do a little um, bit of a hot sauce review today. Um, also, check it out y'all. Boom. Oh yeah. Got my uh, Chase the Heat spoon from Johnny Scoville today. Uh, it said it was coming in Tuesday and it didn't arrive and I was like, no! So it uh, finally came this morning and I'm super happy about that. Um, so I figured why not kick that off with uh, tasting a sauce right away, okay? So today we have, from Torchbearer Sauces, the Honey Badger. And it's been on uh, Hot Ones here this year too. I believe it was number eight on their, their list out of ten. Um, it says Honey Mustard on there as well. Um, I'll read the ingredients off for y'all, okay? That's apple cider vinegar, <coughs> pardon me, scorpion pepper, honey, distilled white vinegar, water, canola oil, brown sugar, mustard powder, Carolina Reaper pepper, white sugar, cayenne pepper powder, black pepper, turmeric, mustard seed, granulated garlic, salt, and garlic. Um, yeah, so I can't wait, wait to try this. I've been seeing people taste this on the hot ones. And so, actually it might be a perforated edge here. Go ahead and open it. <clears throat> we'll give it a shaky here in a second, but you can see the consistency there. We'll give it a nice little shake. As Rat likes to say in honor of Silas. <laughs> Joe's kid from heating up. I think I got that right, right guys? Please let me know if that was wrong. If I got somebody's name wrong. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> A little bubble popped at the top. Almost got me in the nose when I was breathing it in. <laughs> wow. Definitely smell garlic. I definitely smell the heat in there, for sure. And I got a little bit of that, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I was trying to figure out what else I'm smelling here. Definitely vinegar. Whew, I got a little bit of a, of a mustardy feel to it, but not crazy mustard. I'm not getting any necessarily sweetness from right off the bat here, but it might change with the taste. So, Go ahead and let's use this for the first time. I've already cleaned it off. So, now, first time using the spoon, the Chase Heat Spoon from Johnny Scovo. I am Jay from Heat with Jay, and this is Torchbearer Sauces with their Honey Badger. Well, look at that. Cheers, y'all. Wow. Definitely got that garlicky flavor, but you get a little sweetness from the honey. It's not like crazy. The heat is, I mean, the heat is probably like, <laughs> after last night, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a one or two. Um, it, this really isn't, it's got a good little tiny kick to it, but I mean, yeah, I probably would give it like, Probably like a, probably like a two on heat or something like that. I'm trying to get better of my heat ratings of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'd say a, a two. But I'm happy. Thanks for tipping me off on this, guys. Thank you, Joe, Rhett. Everybody uses it. Um, and I'll shout out real quick to Scott 
from Heat by Shorts, Robert B, Remus, Requiem for Heat. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm missing my name. Uh, it's been a long day today, and I wanted to get a little tiny uh, video in because I wanted to. I got the spoon in, so I was like, "Ooh!" And a sauce came. So um, check out check out Torchbearer sauces. So this is really good. I'm getting. You know, it does have a, I don't get as much of a crazy mustard vibe with it. Um, I get what they're trying to do. I, I, I do see, I, I got the flavor of a little bit of mustard, but I don't know. It's just my own opinion. It's a really good sauce. So I, I, I can definitely taste the garlic in it. Um, it's got a cool graphic on the front. So, but I, I think it has, it has good flavor for me. I mean, it's, this is a perfect little heat for me that I can... I could see myself even dipping some like, oh my gosh, a lot of different things in this and put it on stuff too, like chicken nuggets. I could see myself eating this with chicken nuggets. I could see myself eating this on pizza as well. Oh, it's just weird. Um, but I, you know, that's why I said I'm getting a little more of a garlic feel from it, but. Yeah, so I like it though. It's really good. Anyways, y'all, hope you have a lovely day. Um, give love to yourself first and foremost and make sure that love transcends to all others. Um, I think it's very important that sometimes we forget we give love to others and that's great. But just remember to give love to yourself too and to be open to receive that love back as well. Love y'all. Chili Heads. Great community. Thanks for watching Pepper Freak that loves to eat the heat. I'm Jay and we'll catch you on the next one y'all. Peace out.